Hey there, welcome back to another episode of the Ideal One Chunk Man series. The series where we go through the entire map as a chunk man and try to unlock it one chunk at a time in the most efficient way possible. Last episode, we finished up our grind at the Fishing Guild and worked our way down towards Ardoin, working through East Ardoin into the Clock Tower chunk, finishing a couple quests including Fight Arena and Tree Dome Village before finally getting to Port Gazard, which was our intermediate goal. Unfortunately, when we got there, we found that we had an unexpected grind of 77 construction. And there we are, the angler boots, and that's actually the last piece of angler. Uh, between last episode and this one, I've been doing a bit of fishing trawler. We've already got the full set in 59 KC, not too bad at all. And of course, with that 59 KC, I've been getting quite a few fish to go along with that. Quite a decent stack of the manta rays and sea turtles, which is very nice. Now, of course, for this chunk goal, we still need to cook the manta rays at 91 cooking, which we are very close to. If you'll remember, in uh, two episodes ago, we did a lot of fishing at the fishing guild, so we're very, very close to being able to do that. Now, of course, we also need to fish minnows. That's our chunk task, but of course, we're much higher than that now just from doing fishing trailer and stuff. So we'll get right on that, cook the manta ray, and yeah, moving forward. All right, so we're here at the Hosidius Kitchen, I think it's called. I'm, I'm not really sure, but the range in Hosidius that gives you a uh, better burn chance or, or better not burn chance or whatever. Uh, just cooking some sea turtles. So if you remember, the, the plan was that we're going to get 91 cooking before we came here, but then because of miscalculations, it was slightly off. Like, I think we were 20k away, if I remember correctly, but we figured we would just get the XP from the fish that we get from fishing trawler regardless so it wasn't a big deal uh it wasn't a big deal anyway so we can just cook these sea turtles and if we run out uh we could could have caught some other fish but we figured that'd be enough so yeah there we go 91 cooking so we can now cook a manta ray i burned a couple sea turtles they look really sad on the floor actually um like i feel really bad burning them i feel like i, I shouldn't be i mean they're already dead at that point but you know uh, anyway, there's the manta ray successfully cooked. Uh, not a bad rate, actually, I'm getting on these, uh, not burning any so far, so... Well, you know, I had to say something. But regardless, that is that chunk task done, 91 cooking. Not much will be able to beat that, so let's move on. Alright, like I mentioned before, we need to fish anglers. Or not anglers, minnows. I have the angler outfit on. And I have the fishing contest quest done, which is required for this. So with the fishing guild, we can board this. I guess we have to talk to him first, but um, there's a little fishing platform out here next to the fishing guild that we can... Okay, now we can go to. I, I, that was strange. I didn't know about that. But now we can fish minnows here. It's in our chunks, as you can see. It's just part of this fishing guild chunk, like I was saying. So we can just go and net some minnows. That's strange. I've never really done this before. I tried it for a little bit, but it's not like I stuck with it or anything. But it's like a kind of active way to catch fish, and you get rewarded with um, with sharks, raw sharks, when you trade these minnows in. So it's like more active shark fishing. Now I have a bunch of sharks from our grant earlier, so I'm not really concerned about doing this, but. It's always a possibility if I come into needing more sharks for some sort of presumably boss grind. I, I can't imagine we'll be using sharks anywhere else, but it's it's a nice unlock to have, even if it was kind of accidental. And the fact that we have 87 fishing, uh, 87 and a half fishing, I should say, even, um, this grind was absolutely nothing. It was completely passive that we're getting from cooking regardless. So uh, yeah, that is another chunk task done. And while we're at it, let's go get one more chunk task done, which is a diary task, actually. So in the already easy diary, you need to have the Tyndall Marchant, weird spelling of the name, I don't know why, identify a sword. And uh, there we go. Amazing. All right, so we can go ahead and check those tasks off. Catch a minnow, cook a manta ray, and the rusty sword task. Now, of course, what is left for the chunk is 77 construction like we discussed last episode, as well as the diary task, which is just to enter your house and host cities, which is, it's gonna be a 
passive thing, of course. Um, so just a reminder of what we discussed at the end of last episode, we talked about our method for training was going to be using the woodcutting guild here with the sawmill. There's some oak trees that we can deposit them and make oak planks. And with those oak planks, we can go to Pond of Niche. There's a house portal here and an unloading NPC and we can run back and forth and just building uh, oak furniture to train basically. So I think the number needed to get from our current level up to level 77, well, 75 because of boosting is 20,000 oak planks. All right, so check it out. So we got these three oak trees right here. It's pretty close to where the actual uh, sawmill is here the, in the woodcutting guild. Um, so basically just take all my money, cut down an inventory of the um, oak trees here, get some oak logs. Um, I'll pick out the bird nest like you can see in my inventory now, just cause I mean, why not? Free bird's nest. Then I can run to the sawmill right here. It's kind of around this fence, like I was saying, but then you can just turn into planks for a bunch of money. And then right over here in this building, there's a deposit box in the southern part. So then we can just deposit all the planks, or really, really you can deposit everything except for the money again, if we get bird's nests or clues or whatever. And then it's just a short run back over to the oak trees. I don't know if this is, like if this is slow enough that my run regenerates in time or what, but um, I think this is generally like a pretty good method. I wouldn't be that upset having to do uh, having to do this another way basically i think this is not too bad um but yeah so from 31 construction like i was just showing up to 77 is our goal as a reminder 20,000 oak planks i'll see you at the next milestone it might be in like a week though so i will see you then all right well here's a uh, a milestone that i didn't think i'd be reaching if you asked me a while ago 92 wood cutting um, yeah, not all from this grind, obviously, uh, a couple episodes ago, I, I was doing a lot of AFK with cutting just for fun. Uh, I wish I had known I was going to be in this, otherwise I would have been cutting oak logs, but, uh, yeah. Got a while to go still. I was kind of close to level already, so, um, yeah. I'll, I'll come back once we reach some milestone amount of planks, or maybe, maybe when I'm out of money, who, who knows. Just a quick update, we've fallen below the one mil mark. Of my coins i think i started at like four and a half mil or something so i've gone through uh well at least at least three mil um probably three and a half mil ish so i don't know how many planks that is but i uh i know i've been here for quite a while um i guess i'll be back when i run out of money because i do not have enough to get the full amount so we'll have to talk about that once i run out of money in a second Hey there, it's been a bit, uh, for me at least, and this will hopefully be seamless for you, but it's been about four months since I've played on this account. I went through getting a lot of oak planks and ran out of money like you saw in the last clip, but yeah, starting to work towards getting more money and I kind of just lost interest in the account for a bit. As you can see, we're up to 17,000 oak planks so we're getting quite close to that goal but i just i kind of got busy with stuff like i said i got a little bit tired of the account and uh yeah just kind of just kind of stopped playing for a bit but of course if you're seeing this video then that means that i am playing again so no need to worry this is in the past you've already experienced the the time skip from uh spring to fall as it probably is at this point so no need to be concerned we are back and in running um so need to make some more money uh the 150k that i have it will not be enough to finish off the 20,000 planks i need to make a bit more money so i'm going to do what i did last time which is pick flax cut some of the u's into u longbows string them and then alk them for money i don't know if that's the best way to make money that's kind of all I know. Maybe I'll try something else uh, if that doesn't work out this time, but that's what I'm going to do this time. So hopefully get enough money for the rest of the oak planks and then go bang out the rest of them. 
All right, I just finished up grabbing the rest of the money that I needed by alking the Yulong bows. Like I said, I would up to 650k, which I believe should be enough to get the final 2,500 or whatever it is oak planks turned into or oak logs turned into oak planks, and that should be enough to get us to the level that we need for construction, of course. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna power this out. I will be back. Uh, presumably when I'm done with all the oak planks, hopefully. All right, and this is gonna be the last inventory. As you can see, we're under 3,000 gold. So when we make these, I can't even make them all. Um, so let me go and deposit these and then run to a bank real quick and show you our full amount of planks. All right, so here at the bank, we do have some money left over. I made some extra just because I will didn't trust my math and I wanted some left over. But as you can see, 20,029 oak planks. Oh, this was a grind. Let's get working on construction. Finally. All right, first things first, I'm here at the estate agent in Sears Village. We need to relocate our house to Uh That's our plan. Doesn't cost so much money. This is why I had a little bit of extra money. We're gonna need that for moving we need that for making um rooms in our house that kind of stuff so just down here is where the portal is like i talked about and the unnoting guy is somewhere over here um so yeah let's get to it all right and here we go i've marked the exchange merchant here in blue and that's just a short run around the corner to the portal here and so we go into build mode and then we just uh, build oak larders mostly. Now, I don't have the level for oak larders quite yet. I am with only 31 construction, not 33. So I'll need to be building just some like chairs or whatever until then. Uh, it doesn't actually matter what you build with your planks because they all, except for a couple exceptions, give the same amount of XP per plank. It's just more efficient to build things with more planks because then you use up the planks quicker, but it's not more efficient or anything. Just a little known fact, but anyway. I'll be back with 30 construction so we can do those oak larders. Hey, I'm back. It's been like five minutes because construction's fast. Surprise, surprise when you're training it. 33 construction is done. Oak larders can be made very, very nice. So um, I'm just gonna probably finish out this inventory here at the chairs and then I'll be working on um, oak larders after that. So. Yeah, I don't know how long I'll uh, go or whatever, but I will be sure to come back and check in with you at some milestones, but I can't imagine this is going to be all that interesting doing this. So I'll see you in a couple hours probably. Hi there, I'm back with a milestone level. We're going to get 40 here in a second, which is exciting. One thing that I did think about is look at the cash stack in the top left of my inventory and keep an eye on that because actually it's going to go down as we unnote stuff. Fun. That is 1,000 of the 20,000 planks down the drain. Quite a few more to go. <laughs> I'm back with another milestone level here. Uh, one more, and then we'll have it. It's going to be 50 construction. Like I said, it's been pretty quick so far. Once you have the planks, it's actually pretty fast to get train construction. Who would have known? And there's 60 construction, very nice. And that is a quarter of the planks used, 5,000 down, three times that to go still. Well, and this here, this trip is going to be half the planks used down to 10,000 gone, 10,000 more to go. It's interesting once you keep an eye on it, how much the uh, levels fly by at the beginning and the planks are still there and then I've gone through 5,000 planks without getting another milestone level already at this point uh, So yeah up to 66 construction or 68 sorry and You can see the cash stack has gone down quite a bit when you're noting 20,000 items It really starts building up, you know, you wouldn't think so because it's cheap per item But if you've been watching that cash stack, you've seen it go down over each clip All right, and this one here. Nope. Just kidding next one here is gonna be big level 70 construction 
very very nice we're down below the 10,000 mark but of course you know that because you saw the last clip getting through the cash deck quite quite well I'd have to say but uh yeah this has been a brutal grind let me tell you it doesn't take that long it's only been uh you know a couple days maybe a week since the uh the start of this actual construction doing not the plank gathering but the construction doing but it is draining i mean uh it's not very fun i'll be honest but that's all right we're getting through this we're almost three quarters of the way done i'll be back when we do hit that mark in a couple hours all right and this trip here will take us below the 5,000 mark that's 15,000 used up 5,000 more to go three quarters of the way done we are getting close and this trip is going to bring us to 1,000 left. I can really see the home stretch now. Just, just kind of want to bang it out at this point. We are so, so damn close. 74 construction. So we'll be back once we get 75 uh, construction probably. But then after that, it's just going to be uh, the real level. So yeah, see you very, very soon. All right, and we're at the end of it here. 100 planks left. That's a little extra. Uh, just because, you know, it's easier to have extra than to have too few. So I learned from my cooking grind. Uh, don't know what I was talking about in the last clip when I said that 75 wasn't the last level. If you remember, we have a way to get from 75 to 77 via boosting. So 75 is the last level. And there it is. That is 75 construction. And we are done with the grind. Construction is done, at least for now. You know, that's how it always does on chunk accounts, at least for now. But as all that matters is that we are done. Now, I'm going to go grab some supplies to build up the kitchen a little bit and uh, get things ready to get our T boost because we need a plus two boost to get that 77 for Elite Stash unit. And then we'll go build it. So I'll be back uh, when we go to build it. All right, well, I, f I figured I'd just let you be here as we're going through this process so uh you know we will we'll spend some steel bars on the best sink and i already pulled up the uh shelves and the range there as you can see so now it's just making the tea itself uh so we got tea leaves we're gonna need a uh, kettle teapot cup you all know how to make that good tea so uh yeah let's just get into it so let me just say, very happy to be done this grind, finally. Uh, it has felt like a long time, um, and I'm happy to be moving on from it. Now I know that uh, it wasn't it wasn't a planned grind, and I definitely would have planned it a little differently if I had the chance, but it wasn't all that bad in the end, we were able to finish it. Um, now, blathering on here, we've got that cup of tea. Um, now, I brought a strength potion that I'm going to drink now. Um, just so that I can keep a track of the level because I don't want to drink the tea and then lose my boost instantly because uh, then obviously uh, since it's only a plus two boost I would only be able to boost to 76 because my boost would go down to 70 to, to 76 immediately instead of staying at 77. I don't know if that's a problem but I know that it can or it used to be a problem so i'm just used to at this point doing this um you know i had an extra strength potion in the bank from a random event or whatever so what you can do is drink the strength potion or whatever wait for that boost to wear down one level and then drink your uh your tea in this case for boosting construction or whatever you're doing to boost that's important and that way you'll know that you have a full 60 seconds or at least you know 55 seconds or whatever before that boost that's the important boost wears off um so there just dropped to 84 strength so we drink we're 77 construction now we gotta move now we have a couple elite stash games we could build we only need to build one of them because we're just processing uh mahogany planks uh via stash units the way that the base vanilla chunk rules uh requires to and that's the rules that we're following so i happen to know there's one here in the warriors guild somewhere no that's the master stash unit where the hell is the fucking elite oh no i didn't 
I I know it's here. I didn't do my research well enough to know exactly where it is. Is, is it outside? Oh, shit. Okay, um... Where the hell is it? I could have sworn. I, I could have sworn it was, like, right here in the in the armor room. I don't know. Oh, fuck. There it is. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh, please don't let the boost go down. Oh, yes. Oh. Still 77. Oh, it just dropped. I just saw it drop. I just saw it drop. That was a lot closer than I intended it to be. But there is our stash unit built, and therefore the construction task done. All right, and then last but not least for this chunk, we're back here at the estate agent. We're moving our house back. So we're moving it to Hosidius, of course, because we have that diary task to do. So move it over here into Hosidius. We do have this chunk unlocked, which is why it's a chunk task, of course, but we just have to enter our house and there we go. Easy task in the Kebos Koran area done. So that's the chunk done. Just kidding. You thought that I could go away for four months without making any videos, without doing any progress on the account, and there wouldn't be more grinds added to my chunks? You're dead wrong. Anyway, um, we did finish the 77 construction, so we can check that off. And you can see that since uh, since last time, I've actually made it so that boosts work now. So it knows that we have a plus two boost. So 75 construction, yep. Yeah. And this diary task, yep. Yeah. But as you can see, there are more grinds and some really, really fun ones that I'm saying sarcastically. Um, so let's talk about what has happened in the four, five, six months since I've been gone. Um, a lot has happened. So two main things. Number one, the smithing grind that you can see, the 81 plus four, so 85 smithing to smell the runite bar is because, of course, of the next task there, the quest task for sleeping giants. Excuse me. Now, that is a quest that came out since since I started this chunk, since I unlocked it. And, uh, yeah, well, if we scroll back to where it actually is on the map, um, let me just zoom in here. So, right here, where you see this anvil, just below it, actually, right down to here, there is... Uh, a new quest, well, new as of, as of me rolling this chunk, but not new uh, of the game. It's been a couple months now. Um, but Sleeping Giants unlocks a mini game called Giants Foundry. And in Giants Foundry, you can get as a reward, more or less, ru Runite Ore, basically. Um, so because of that, we have an 85 smithing grinds. Now, if we had, if we had the, a way of knowing that this was going to come, we probably wouldn't be unlocking uh, this chunk by way back when, because, well, obviously we don't want an 85 smithing grind without the most ideal, uh, you know, possible choices that I have. And honestly, I would have preferred if we had blast furnace for 85 smithing. Um, at some point, the plan was excuse my scrolling here, to unlock Keldegrim up here, which is part of this chunk. It's around the edge, but it's part of this top chunk. Unlocking that chunk, which would unlock uh, Keldegrim, and therefore the Blast Furnace. So buying stuff from the Blast Furnace shop, um, and having the Blast Furnace would make smithing very, very easy compared to a lot of other methods. Not, not easy, but a lot easier than other methods. Um, and a lot of chunk men will tell you that because they know the pain of going through 70 or 85 smithing without having good things like blast furnace. Now, unlocking that would also mean that because of like underground pathing, it'll unlock the dwarven mine for us actually. So there'd be a lot of grinds involved with that, which is why I didn't want to do it yet because unlocking 85 smithing, 92 mining, all of that through this chunk is a lot, even though it would be fairly efficient work, it'd be a lot of work. And I wanted to work towards this dragon scimitar thing I had going you know that that's that's been our whole goal the last uh four episodes approximately if you've forgotten I know it's been a bit so I don't blame you at all but that's why we are in this predicament where now because of this chunk that I unlocked months ago we have an 85 smithing grind um so we'll talk about how we're going to do that in a little bit but let's first talk about the second uh 
task, the second skill task, I should say, that's on our list here. 75 crafting to craft a magic birdhouse. Now this one is a weird one because it's kind of like the construction grind that we got ourselves into. It was a knowledge gap in my own knowledge, not the game adding something to screw me over like the smithing grind is. For the crafting grind, what has happened is that since months ago when I unlocked the the, uh, the Porkazar chunk, let's go back over there just for visual aid, since I unlocked this chunk, um, I have found out that um there was some issues with the way that some specific tasks being calculated in reference to things in the player owned house basically is the gist of it so what that means for us is basically that because we have construction unlocked and because we have access to inside our player owned house and we have the ability to make a clockwork bench in our player owned house then we are able to make clockwork if needed which is fine that's not a big deal now because we have access to clockwork now and because we have access to magic logs the only way or one of the only ways at least at least the only way we have access to the only way we have access to to process a magic log with the crafting skill is by making a birdhouse made of the magic log so a magic birdhouse that is why we have a 75 crafting grind to make a magic birdhouse, because that's the only way possible that we have to make and process a magic log with crafting. Um, now, just to cut off any questions, uh, magic birdhouses, don't you need Fossil Island for that? And you clearly, uh, you know, don't have Fossil Island unlocked. You can't see it all, but you don't have Fossil Island unlocked. No, you don't need Fossil Island to make birdhouses. You need fossil land to plant the birdhouses and actually use them, but there's no requirement to actually make the birdhouse itself. You just have to have clockwork and you have to have the log. So that is why we have more grinds in this chunk and this chunk that has already lasted us months and months. I mean, a lot of that was me being a little bit burnt out, but yeah, regardless, we are back in this chunk for longer. I'm so excited. And we'll get into the details of how we're going to tackle those crafting and smithing grinds next episode, unfortunately. This one has to come to a close. Ah, this has been a long time in the making, but we're finally up to just about live clips at this point. So I hope everyone is excited for what is to come. And hopefully next episode we can finally finish this chunk. It has been a monster. But thank you so much for watching. Of course, I have to shout out my patrons. They've been so nice to me. JLo, Happery, Logan, Invalid Cards, Parian, Frozen, and Dylan Workman. Thank you so much for supporting me. If you'd like to support me too, go to patreon.com slash sourcechunk and support me there. If not, that's totally fine. I appreciate you so much for watching regardless. Thank you so much and have a good one. See you next time.